There are wonderful ways to learn. And there was something called the Inland Rice Fields Traveling Trunk Program. And we're here today to talk with Steve Thakepen and Renee Lemon. And they're going to tell us all about this program that is now in our school system, especially with our third graders. Steve, welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you, sir. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the program? Um, the Transportation Sales Tax Program was passed by the voters in 2004 and we began, began collecting uh, money for roads uh, in 2005. Mm -hmm. One of our projects that we had involved uh, was a project up in North Charleston called the Palmetto Commerce Parkway. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> part of that road went through what were some old abandoned rice fields uh, that were uh, several hundred years old uh, here in the Charleston area. And we got together with the state um, historic preservation office to come up with this program uh, that you that we're here to talk about today and this is a program that will help teach the students and connect them with Africa and some of the essential things that they brought to America yes sir okay so Ms. Lemon share with us some of the things and the items that we're looking at today all right, I go into the third grade classes when asked, and it's a hands-on program. Mm -hmm. The students actually get to touch things that were used during the slavery time when the enslaved workers came to South Carolina that actually, they planted the rice, mm -hmm. they harvest the rice, and they got it ready for the plantation owners to ship. This is an actual rice. This is Carolina gold rice. The seeds for the Carolina gold rice came from West Africa. They brought it with them on the ships. Mm -hmm. Students get to touch this. The rice was then, after it's harvested, it's placed in what is called a rice fanner, and the rice is then used. This is a replica of the sweet grass basket. Everything that was used were handmade. Sweet grass baskets were made during that time to actually fan the rice, place the rice with the hull inside the basket, mm -hmm. throw it in the air, it's called the wind away. The wind actually blows the hull away and the rice falls back into the basket. Wow. This is rice. So this is two cups of rice that the students get to do. This, see this, the rice seeds, the fanner, and the actual final rice, product. the final wow. product. Now, this is called a pestle and mortar. We use this to crush the rice seeds to get the hulls off. This is only a replica, but we have pictures that the students can actually see of how they actually looked. And then after we go through all this, they always want to know, do they have fun? Mm -hmm. So that's where the drum comes in. They made, they made their own drums out of whatever animal that was caught, deer, cow, goat. They made their own drums, they played music, they sung songs. So not only did they work from sun up to sun down, they actually did have opportunity to have some game times and fun times. So Steve, this represents a teaching moment yes, sir. in the classroom. Yes, sir. So Ms. Lemon, tell me, what have been some of the um, interactions of the students? Oh, they love it. They can't believe that this is actually how rice actually looks because they're used to going to the grocery store and getting a bag of rice out of the grocery store. And then they're interested in the, the slave life. How long did they have to work? What did they eat? Um, mm -hmm. Did they get to play games? You know, did the children work? Mm -hmm. And that's where you tell them that from sun up to sundown, children that were 9, 10, and 11 worked every day, especially when it was t harvesting time, because they actually did the rice in the pestle and mortar, and the older adults, which were females, actually did the fanning, and the older males, and you even have pictures that we show them of older males making sweet grass basket, fanning the rice. Okay, now, we've heard your story. But Steve, all this came into fruition because of the Charleston County Transportation Sales Tax Program that deals with the roads. Yes, sir. Tell us about that. Um, the um, Transportation Sales Tax was a program voted on by the voters to help improve some of the traffic problems that Charleston has seen over the last uh, number of years. Um, our marquee project was the Johnny Dodds Boulevard improvements over in mm -hmm. Mount Pleasant. Um, we've in improved the um, uh, Glen McConnell Parkway here in West Ashley, and of course the Palmetto Commerce Parkway in North Charleston. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, who can we contact about this program? This program, which is in the school system, um, is contacted through 
CHH Communication, Cheryl Halston, is the owner of this um, public relations firm, mm -hmm. and they contracted her, and then she got me to help with the program of actually going into the classroom. So if you want to have to know more about this, you need to contact Cheryl Halston. Okay, well, you know what? I think it's a wonderful program to have hands-on with our students so they can see the actual items that the Africans use and how rice came into being from the beginning and then the final product. Yes. Yeah. Um, what is the look on their faces after they've heard the wonderful story? The, the story, the, the children, the third graders are overwhelmed. A lot of them want to go home and tell their parents about it because they've never actually had the opportunity to touch these things, to mm -hmm. see these things, or they've only seen finished products in grocery stores. So mm -hmm. this is something that's very new to them and they really enjoy it. Well, you know, I think it's a wonderful program because you talk about building roads and roads go everywhere, all over, and we need this. So tell me, what, the, what can the community do to help in this endeavor? Um, well, we, we reach out, make, anytime we're doing a project uh, in the Charleston area, we reach out to the public to get their input. We put up signs, we ask them to come out and talk to us about projects. Um, so we, we are always trying to interact with the public in a positive manner. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, I think that's good. So I know one thing, after they watch this show, <laughs> you're going to get a whole lot of phone calls. We, we, People be interested, be, be interested in knowing more about the inland rice fields and the transportation program that you're doing building roads across the country. So we want to thank you all for being here today, um, here on Bounce Around Charleston, and all the information will be up on the screen uh, so people can contact you and know how to reach you to bring this program in to their public schools. Thank, thank you, thank Steve Thakeman and Ms. Lemon. Yes. Thank you for being on Bounce Around Charleston. It's an educational program designed to bring contributions of enslaved Africans to life. And our children are learning so much from this program. And we're thanking them for being here on Bounce Around Charleston today. We'll be right back after this break.